I heard it raining all night. It was kind of nice. I kind of like sleeping with the sound of rain falling on the truck. But I was really kind of hoping that it would be finished by the time I got up and had to start working. <laughs> Looks like we're going to get a little wet today. I'm in Shakopee, Minnesota. Just down the street from where I got a, a load. Let's get going. Let's get this done. <laughs> I don't really want to go outside and work in the rain, but a little water never hurt me, I guess. Let's just get it over with. Then we get to go home. that I paid in US dollars was $666. Should I be concerned? 
That's two sets of triple six and one fuel up. 666 liters and it cost me 666 US dollars. Just figured I'd just throw that out there to the world. I guess if you're watching this video, nothing happened, and I had the time to edit it and upload it and release it to you, so I'm fine. I'm fine. But if you didn't see this video, something happened. But you'll never know if you didn't see it. I'm pulling out a pilot here, let's get back on the highway. Let's go home. Full of fuel. Sometimes I do what that truck up ahead of me did too, and I'm not trying to be rude. 
I'm not trying to say, hey, I'm not letting you in. I'm just saying, I've got to make a right turn right away, and I'm not going to risk moving over and then having you block me in the left lane and making me miss my turn. You know what I mean? Moving over from merging traffic is a courtesy. It's polite. As far as I know, it's not required by law. It's, just, it's the right thing to do, but in some circumstances, I'm sorry, I'm just not... I, I gotta turn right. I'm making a right turn. So this is Interstate 29 northbound. This will take us straight up to Canada. About two and a half hours from the Canadian border here. Continue on this road for 247 kilometers. up here drying because they were soaked. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. All right. It's Timmy time. We're back in Canada. So I'm, I got to deliver this trailer tomorrow into Winnipeg, but I'm going home for tonight. I'm going to sleep at home instead of sleeping in the truck. I'm going to bring this trailer to our secure yard, uh, leave it there overnight, go home, I'll come back tomorrow morning, pick it up, deliver it into Winnipeg, bring the trailer back, and then go back home. That's the plan. First, we gotta get Timmy's. I'm really excited. I haven't had a good coffee all day. What did I have? Oh yeah, I got a, I got a pilot coffee, a bean to cup in St. Cloud, but that's long gone. My body's long forgotten about that, and it's wondering what's going on and what planet I'm on. I need to refuel it with some new coffee. What is it? Something about Tim Hortons just gets us Canadians all worked up, all excited. Does it do it to you guys who aren't Canadians too? I know some Tim Hortons have been popping up in the UK. Some Tim Hortons are in the States. Does it suck you in like it sucks us in? I don't know what it is. I don't know what they're putting in there because the coffee's... It's coffee. I mean, it's not like over the moon. Wow! But... I mean, I'm, I like it. It's just coffee, right? But something about it. There's a Tim Hortons in every town. And every city has a million Tim Hortons locations. So on every corner, sometimes you'll get two Tim Hortons locations on the same corner. Across from each other. Like one here, one there. So that if you're going this way, there's one for you. If you're going that way, there's one for you. If you want to go to that one and you're going this way, that's fine. Just park over here, walk across the street, go to that one. Or park over here, walk across the street, go to that one. You don't like that one, go to that one. Someone over there makes you mad, they, they mess up your coffee, they mess up your, your order. I'll just go over here to the, the, the right across the street from each other. The, the employees can wave at each other. Is it like a comp, do they have competitions? Are you owned by the same person? Why don't you just build one big one? Questions I have for Tim Hortons. I have a lot of questions for Tim Hortons. I don't agree with everything they do. But, uh, Save that for another day. <laughs> so once we get through Morris here, we got a bunch of construction. Highway 75, which is the same highway as Interstate 29 in the States, just on our side of the border. Highway 75 is always and forever under construction. I think that the people that they get to fix Highway 75 purposely do that to keep themselves employed. In 600 meters, go straight on Port Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. I'm pretty sure that they purposely make it so that it crumbles and falls apart in no more than 12 months. So that next summer they have work to do again. Because it's just always, 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 always under construction. Well, oh, this guy's brave. It's the guy right beside me. He's riding a motorcycle. Oh, he's turning. Nice bike. It's cold though. 300 meters, go straight on Port Selkirk Highway.
It's a little cozy. <sighs> it's been two days, my friend. Two days. A buddy of mine told me I can get a new bar of light or light bar here at uh, it's called the Truckers Inn and Sock Center. So I'll stop by there eventually. Yet, I'm gonna wait till the whole move is over and all the dust is settled, and I'll switch that out. It's doing fine right now. You did good, old blue. It's just for the night, okay? We're gonna get right back at it tomorrow. We have to go deliver those shingles. In just a little over a few weeks, all oh, that'll be gone. Yeah, <laughs> that makes me happy. I don't mind it being in here. That's what the shop is for, right? I don't mind it. I'm just uh, glad to glad to be moving. So I just did the check on everything. Everything seems good. Ready to park in here for the night. We'll be back first thing in the morning. Camper is doing well too. We don't have to winterize it this year because it's going to be in a nice warm shop. That's kind of nice. As long as I don't keep this big door open too much. <laughs> This shop has got floor heat, so that keeps everything nice and warm in here. We'll see. This is my first winter in this bigger shop. The other one had floor heat as well, and that always it always seemed to work well. I have a like a two twenty volt heater as well. I just have to wire it in here. I have to get someone to wire in uh, an outlet for it because the shop doesn't have one for some reason. All right, someone will put that in here for me, and uh, yeah, I'm not too worried. It's a good space. All right, I'm gonna head home though. Pretty much go straight to bed. Go and uh, hug the kid, hug the wife, have a shower. Actually, not in that order. Probably have a shower, then hug the. No, I'll hug the wife. Yeah, I'll hug him. Yeah, have a shower and then I'll give him. A... I'll decide when I get there. I'll probably shower first. <laughs> Is that a dilemma for you too? The first thing I do when I get home, I have to shower before I touch anything. Definitely before I pick up the kid. Before I pick him up. I don't want to pick them up with dirty hands or like smelling, smelling all sweaty and everything. I usually go and shower first. I guess that's irrelevant right now. I'll see you right here tomorrow morning. When we start Old Blue up, we're going to go deliver those shingles and uh, come back home to start packing. Should be fun. All right, some home time packing content coming up here on Trucker George Vlogs. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Drive safe out there. Already? Yeah, good boys.